When dealing with sound absorption, there are three major interior sound issues to consider. Sound absorption within a space. Sound transmission loss as it travels to an adjoining space. Ways to limit the disturbance caused by unwanted sound. If a noise problem does not come from outside a room, but is a result of the sound inside the room bouncing around, an interior designer needs to address noise reduction within the space. The acoustical treatment of a space starts with reducing the noise source as much as possible, followed by control of unwanted sound reflections. Speech privacy is another major acoustic concern for the interior designer. Sometimes it is also necessary to decrease or increase reverberation time for sound clarity and quality. Noise is reduced in a building through the interception of sound energy before it reaches a person's ears. This is accomplished by changing acoustic energy into heat energy. The amount of heat energy produced by sound is minuscule. 130 decibels dB of sound, which is loud enough to cause pain, produce only one one-thousandth watt of heat. Most of this heat can easily be absorbed by the room contents and wall coverings and by the structure of the building itself. The contents of space control the noise levels in the space, while the building structure controls the transmission of noise between spaces. In a normally constructed room without acoustical treatment, sound waves strike walls or the ceiling, which then transmit a small portion of the sound. The walls or ceiling absorb another small amount, while most of the sound is reflected back into the room. The amount of transmission to an adjoining space is determined primarily by the mass of the solid, airtight barrier between the spaces, not by the surface treatment. However, the amount of sound that is reflected off the surfaces back into the room is greatly decreased by absorptive materials. When acoustical material is applied to a wall or ceiling, some of the energy in the sound wave is dissipated before the sound reaches the wall and the portion that is transmitted is reduced slightly. Adding absorptive materials to a room changes the room's reverberation characteristics. This is helpful in spaces with distributed noise sources, such as offices, schools, and restaurants. The acoustics of a space with hard surfaces can be improved by adding absorptive materials. In spaces with concentrated noise sources, the noisy equipment should be enclosed. This is preferable to trying to treat the entire space.